Oh, fuck. This exit's blocked, too. Locked. Let's see. snow and I'm soaked. This is getting really bad. What's that? A car. Hey, wait for me! Damn it! I have to catch them. Please! Stop! You must... run. Don't <coughs> leave me here. Shit. A light. I need to get there fast. Anybody home? This place is a godsend. I can easily make it through the night here. Still, somehow it's too convenient. It's not ready. It's not ready.
Huh. This one has no locks. There has to be a way to keep it in place. There's got to be a way to secure it. There's got to be a way to secure it. Solid to me. I guess this is my new home. I've never appreciated warmth more than now. I should unlatch the door first. I, I did what I could. These woods are old. You wouldn't be the first to get lost here. There have always been rumors about missing young girls who vanished without a trace. You will walk the same ancient path that Saint Cyril and Methodius once walked. Be careful. Those who seek mysteries in this forest don't always return. Follow the candles and look for the rhythms. Never explore alone and never leave the marked path. The woods should be safe tonight, but if you see anything suspicious, immediately end the game and run back here. Now go. Your path of courage has started. Get out of here, you babies. And I need those ribbons, so bring them all back. Well, the brats are out. Let's get back there before the bed gets cold. Someone's behind the door. I'm not going out now. I'm damn glad I locked the shutters. I need a barricade.
What a horrible night. Door's fucked. I really got lucky last night. My cell. It has more lives than me. My cell must have drowned. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Where the fuck am I now? I've never been in here. It was always locked. 
Wow, looks really old. Somehow it's out of place out here in the middle of the woods. I wonder why they built something so vast. It's locked. I don't have any business in there. Is that you? Don't you dare take another step. What are you doing there? You think you could play us all? Like your little toys? What the hell's gotten into you? You're in serious danger, Elle. Oh. Am I? Is it the same danger your daughter was in? Or are you just feeding me lies to make yourself look relevant? Eleonora, stop it. Somebody stole my cell and sent you a message. If I hadn't gotten here first, who knows what would have happened? Oh. But you certainly got here first. You might be disappointed, but I'm finding your scary costume childish and over the top. Oh, shit. And your little acting bit was a little too revealing. I'll never forgive myself for helping such a fucked up and disgusting monster. I should have known right away when you lied to me about Alexander. Now it's all too clear. Shut up. It, it was not me. That, that thing you met was... Really? You shut up, Daniel. I've had enough of you for more than one lifetime. And the letter you gave me yesterday, the one she wrote you, I did the worst thing possible. I read it. You have a letter from Stella? Oh. So now you want it back. Just take it. It's in my pocket. Don't! just floating there. This is impossible. It's Hata's dress from our challenge. Who put it here? I have to search further for her.
I'll wait until my clothes dry a bit. Ah, oh, that's much better. Another one. The second camp. I knew I'd end up here, no matter how much I tried not to. Like my marriage, no matter how hard I try, whatever I touch ends up like this. I'm not sure I even want to know what memories this place holds.
on, help me with something. On my way. I know what you want. <laughs> not now and not here. Well, you did call me, so... Shh. Let's just wait a bit. I want to be sure that those assholes aren't following us. Looks like the coast is clear. Let's go. You're limping. What's wrong with you? It's nothing. Really. Let's cross the archway. I've always wanted to see the other side. Does this no entry sign mean nothing to you? Your father will kill us both. Now you see it. And then like magic. Come on. Wait! Wow. The sunset is so beautiful from up here. I told you. So, you really want to meet after we get back home? No. I want to forget I ever knew you. Stella, what the fuck? Are... <laughs> That's what you get for repeating silly questions. Of course I want to see you as much as possible. I love you. They were in love and so happy. I remember that Stella was trying to reach me, even back then. Maybe I should have tried to understand her more. She wouldn't have needed to run away. And this all would never have happened.
too wet to catch fire. I need something. I need something.
looks right to me. So this is what the noise is about. And why didn't you tell me about this sooner? I was afraid to. Afraid of what? Of you! That you would refuse! Fine, you can stay. But only under two conditions. Anything. No running away. Do it once, and you're gone. Don't ever come back. I... promise. That's not all. You'll stay with me alone. He messed up your life enough as it is. <laughs> Please don't. You're still too young to decide these things for yourself. But I can't be without him. You should have told me earlier. Much earlier. It would have been much easier back then. <laughs> Please. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Maybe you... That's the last thing I have to say. And these are my two absolute conditions. Trust me that I only want the best. Damn. I wish I knew what that was about. I don't even remember that talk. <laughs> you don't, do you? If I were you, I would also try to forget. 
It's quite important to remember now. So try not to space out again. Wait, what do you mean? She's gone.
the ancient underground church really exists. And here I thought it was just an old legend. Of course I find parts of my home in ancient catacombs, because otherwise I would have been so disappointed. You're gonna love it. You know how beautiful it is there. Sure, I know, but all our friends are here. Also, there are no jobs there. Everyone is moving out from the north these days. When do you want to move? January. <laughs> That's bullshit. There's no way I can get everything ready in just two months. Well, you'll have to, because I already sold this place. You did what? Are you deaf? I told you, I sold this place. We're moving. You sold it and didn't even ask me? I bought it and I sold it. Then I got us a new place in the north. Who the fuck do you think you are? There is no way that I... that we are going there with you. I'm moving with you or without you. It's your call. I don't care. We are not moving to the north. Not in a million years. For all I care, you can sleep under a bridge and take that useless brat with you. You will not speak about my daughter like that. And you better shut the fuck up. Or... Don't push it, Ida. Oh. Really? And what would you do? Bring your blonde... I hope you're happy with how well you handled all these annoying little moments with your wife. And how you even managed to conceal the real reason why you had to move. Well done, Daniel. Anyway... After that night, you all moved to the north. Since you are such an excellent negotiator, you've truly earned your way back. After I told Ida about my relocation plans, I was lucky this knife didn't end up in my ribs. This table was the site of Ida's endless bickering.
It doesn't open from this side. Doorbell seems broken. The bell doesn't work. I should look inside. The bell doesn't work. I should look inside. I see. The metal strip's broken. I need some way to close the circuit. She has a name. Stella only runs away from you. Not once, not twice, every fucking time. I'd say it's pretty easy to tell who she doesn't want to live with. Really? Well, I bet your piece of shit boyfriend is who she's actually running from. <laughs> Unlike you, he is actually worth something. <laughs> His money is the only thing that grabbed your attention. And you knew just what to trade for it. Always the same with you. Maybe I am just tired of living a crappy life with an asshole who cares about nothing but himself. So you kick me out and let a loaded pedophile in. You were always so damn stupid. One more word about him and this discussion is over. Permanently. <laughs> it's always so much fun watching people hurting each other. It's hard to come up with a really good insult. Although, truth be told, yours were so pathetic. Maybe this time Ida finally surprised you. Poof. Your perfectly bland little girl goes up in flames. It was that lawyer. If he... Oh. Are we lying again, Daniel? Don't forget. The first time Stella ran away was purely because of you. Yeah. And it's also me looking for her in this hellhole. While those two are drinking their overpriced wine, totally oblivious to the fact that she's missing. Is that so? Then go home. You don't have to be here. I don't think this trip came with a return ticket, and I'm finally starting to understand why I deserve all this. <laughs> oh, poor little Daniel. You know what? You're boring. Come back when you're more fun. This TV was always on. I never understood what was so interesting. But even when no one was watching and I turned it off, Ida would always come in and turn it back on. Just more senseless noise in our broken relationship. I spent way too much time in here, preparing all the camp games. It 
doesn't open from this side. this sound. It's a baby monitor. We bought one when Stella was born. Wait, come here. Locked.
Who's there? What was that? Do you even care how expensive those were? Do you think I just shit money? I'm sorry, Daddy. I just tripped. I didn't mean to. Tripped? How about you try to be, at least once in your life, useful? Everything you ever touch breaks or spills or... So what happened, Daniel? Did your little Stella kill someone? I don't remember. I don't even understand why you want me to see this. Hmm. Let me refresh your memory. On that very day, two wine glasses silently stood on the table. You might even remember when Ida brought them home from Ikea. When Stella tripped, those glasses, which must have been oh so expensive, fell down to the ground and <gasps> shattered. And? You sent her to bed. And I am sure you want to know what happened next. Daddy, please don't do that. Why not? Maybe now you'll learn what losing something important feels like. And it's the only thing Grandma left me. Take all my toys, just please. Please don't take my doll. Not gonna happen. This is the only way to teach you. So, you took the doll, went outside, tore it up, and threw it into the trash. You must have been really happy with yourself. I bet little Stella finally understood how to appreciate things, right? And that's all for now. Ta! This girlish stuff was more Ida than Stella. Ida always tried to project her failed dreams into Stella's room. The result being this inconsistent mess of cheap IKEA furniture. Ah, uh, I remember how happy Stella was when she got this uniform for the first time. Those were good days.
clearly. What have you done to my daughter? You can kill me, but please, let her go. So, this is it. I'm finally dead. Right? It took him quite a few tries to get me. Tell me, Daniel. How have you found Stella? Stella? Oh. Right. My daughter. I went to the woods looking for her. It was such a long time ago. And have you found her? I don't think so. It was Leah. This little girl. Or was she a doll called Rosie? I don't know. Maybe she was Stella, and I just didn't recognize her. And that woman, Eleonora, something got to her, and she jumped off the cliff. Or maybe she was just another figment of my imagination. Look into your heart. Do you think she was real? I wish she was, but somehow, nobody I've met in these woods feels real. And that includes you. And you, Daniel, are you real? Yeah. It doesn't matter now, does it? At least I no longer need to fight for my life. Your story is not over yet. You will return one more time. It's up to you what you do with your last chance. Be careful. The beast is closer to you than you think. And that's what really keeps you from finding your daughter. She should have let me die in peace. So, are you awake or not? Come here right now, boy. <sighs> Kill me now. The hag is back. What were you thinking? This was such a beautiful place before you ruined it. Is this so you thank those helping you? Now, listen to me carefully. After you destroyed... Hold it right there. What exactly have I destroyed? You wanna know? Why don't you see for yourself? 
Take your backpack and follow. Maybe even you can understand. Know that you and your beast are both tied to this land. When you first came here, I knew that a large disturbance would follow. Yet even I did not know how devastating the change would be. Listen, I'm the one being hunted, and if it wasn't for your curse, I'd already be safely home with my daughter. You really think so? <laughs> you are such a hopeless child. Have you forgotten that you're the one who promised you would never return to this place? I did. I just can't remember why. Can't remember? Or don't want to remember? Those are two entirely different things, Daniel. Let me tell you. An old tale. A long time ago, there was a little girl named Slaviena. She was sweet, beautiful, but as it often goes, her parents died when she was very young. She was raised by her uncle, who didn't care much for her as he saw her as nothing but a maid. The work was hard, but that wasn't the worst part for Slaviena. Day by day, she was reprimanded for even the tiniest of things. No matter how hard she tried, there was no love for her, and she had no hope that her situation would ever change. One day, she had enough, and ran away, far into the woods. The night had fallen, and the full moon appeared in the sky, accompanied by the howls of her nearby pack of wolves. She struggled to get away, but eventually she slipped and ended at the bottom of a crevice, a path blocked by huge rocks on all sides. Exhausted, she collapsed on the ground and prayed to the goddess Vesner to have mercy on her and relieve her from her pain. As she was singing her prayer, tears started to roll down her eyes, forming a little pond on the ground. Finally, the goddess heard her calls, and as the ground around her opened, water started to pour out, mixing with Slavienna's tears to form a river. Slavienna was gently carried away until she drowned in her own tears. Finally free from her sorrow. You see, all these stories, no matter how ancient or new, are all the same one told again and again. Anyway, we're here. Go up there and have a look at what remains of the land. And come back here to me.
Do you believe, Reno? Why is everything gone? Can you hear the clock? With each tick, more and more of this world plunges into the void. It must be that monstrous device from the underground labyrinth. I saw it right before the beast attacked me. It's the very same one. Some things are best left buried deep. If it wasn't for your meddling, we would never be standing here. I don't think I've been given a choice. Maybe, but now it's time to deal with your past. To finally understand why you really came here. Do you see that Corsilium Delecti over there? Corp... what? It's the heart which contains all the guilt you hid in this part of the land. Go and purify it. always worked great. No wonder you were forgotten so much. What's that supposed to mean? When you destroyed them, you made a path. But you also destroyed your memories, which were buried in each heart. I just lost. You erased them forever. How many of these hearts have you destroyed? Uh, I'm not sure. Four, maybe five. Maybe all is not lost yet. Ultimately, it's your choice if you want to purify the Casella or just smash them. All right, well, let's say I want to purify them. What should I do? First, you have to complete your totem. That cruel piece of wood is unfinished. The proper cathartic requires angels. So, I should mount wings on the totem? Indeed. But that's not all. If you intend to purify the Corsa, you need to prepare the ground next to it. First, prepare the potion. Lift the recipe in your backpack. When you're done, pour the potion on the ground next to the heart. Then plunge the totem into the ground where the potion created a swirl. The heart will be purified and your memories will remain safe. Sounds like a lot of work. You always take the fast path. Smash the heart. Your choice and your world. After all, whatever you do, just stop the clock before it destroys the rest of this place. Looks like I, it looks like I could put something in here. It looks like I could put something in here. Looks finished to me.
This is really not something I should drink. No, I just don't want to be there. It totally sucks being around them. I want to take off. You know that's not the solution. And if what you say is true, he always finds you no matter where you go. Yeah, that's real spooky. Maybe he's psychic or something. Bullshit. It's nothing like that. He must be using some trick. Yeah. I thought the same at first. I went to so many different places and he always knew where I was. Thank you. Just wait two more years and you won't have to deal with this shit. I'm scared, Alex. Of what? That I won't live that long.
no longer afraid of what will happen to me. I've died so many times, and the time I'm now using was only loaned to me by the angel from the swamp. I need to help Stella get out of here. She doesn't deserve my kind of hell. There has to be a better world waiting for her, and I'm gonna help her find it if it's the last thing I do. See? You can't kill me, asshole. And you know what? No matter how hard you try, I'm gonna get my Stella back. So do me a favor and go fuck yourself. I have a feeling that the tables are turning here. Angel told me that the beast is what prevents me from finding Stella. I must be getting closer. It's getting scared.
Mommy told us that. I know. I won't do it again. Please call her to get me out. You fell down. Get yourself out. Monica, please don't leave me here. Why are you showing me that? How old were you when it happened? I don't know. Ten or eleven. And how long were you stuck down there? <laughs> Too long. Of course, Monica didn't say anything until it got dark. And my parents started searching frantically for me. And even then, she only told them that she thought she saw me playing near the old well. They had to call emergency services to get me out. The next day, I got a high fever and ended up in a hospital with pneumonia. And your sister? Even as a girl, she was already a typical woman. Denied everything, told my parents that she never knew I was in the well. I never talked to her again. Women. They always find a way to lie their way out of everything. And it's usually them who... Hey, where did you go?
So, you finally made it here. How the hell did you get here first? There's no way you could survive what I just went through. Mind your language, young man. Maybe you underestimate old people. Or well, my story is not as complicated as yours. Either way, the only thing that matters is you're here. So is the clock nearby. How can I destroy it? I saw how you tried to smash the Corsilla, so I'm sure you have the power to stop the clock. You can either stop it or smash it. Up to you. But before you can do this, you need to find your answers. You need to understand why you promised you would never return to this place. Answers? Look at the graves. They contain countless stories. Someday you'll return to claim one of these. And everything you went through will be buried with you as well. Are you saying that everything is pointless? That no matter what I do, it'll all end up at the bottom of a grave. <laughs> Follow me. There is someone who wants to meet you right now. Here? In this wasteland? 